protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. Touch him up. Bring it up the bell. Touch him up. To get a shot at a world title ready. once again for Conceição and would like that opportunity for the first time. Here we go. Xavier Martinez in the white and gold Conceição in the green and silver trunks out of Salvador Bahia, Brazil. High and low. Their reach advantage is those 70 inches. That's sometimes tricky when you're fighting a shorter opponent, and he knows how tough Xavier Martinez is in this fight, and that he is. Martinez saying, nah, uh -uh, not so fast. What I went through in Claudio Marrero fight got me more than ready for this level of competition. And he is undefeated at 17-0 with 11 KOs. Knew we'd see a high work rate from Conceição and throws above that lightweight average, but uh, excuse me, junior lightweight average. Conceição constantly makes you think with how how he's got to continue to do that, stay disciplined, especially fight. with a longtime champion like Valdez. You know he's going to stay strong the entire fight. It should keep do what he did the first five rounds for the, for the entire fight. Good combination to start round two. A lot of those hitting off the glove, continuing to press the action, landing that right hand there off the... Him have, have grown since the last fight is how he performs in the second half. Can he keep this pace up? The game plan is for Xavier Martinez, and what he told him is he's like, we got to stay on him. We got to work on the body. We, we can't let him be the one dictating the pace for the entire fight. Admitted that he has been working on his conditioning, and that's... Martinez looking to establish some work downstairs to the body. One of the things, too, that I noticed that I almost now two rounds. Martinez, but he did come out here pretty dry. So high, low, and he's out of range. Oh, shot from the inside there from Conceição. The Triple jab following up the right hand that missed there. Ooh, good shot to the body. Nonetheless, I mean, those shots start to hurt and they get you to bring those hands down a little bit lower. The body shots will wear you down. Go from Conceição as Martinez starts to work around the guard a little bit. He looks pretty strong. Oh, nice shot on the outside. Caught Conceição with his right hand hanging a little low. He got caught with that shot quite a few times, that left hook from Valdez. Martinez has just as good a jab as Conceição. And then trying to leap in with the hook. He's got to use his reach. Is there that, that left hand again? Buckles the legs for, of Conceição for just a moment. That's... We're looking to pick up the pace more, so round two th saw both fighters throw 72 punches. Round three, punch count decrease. Can say so. He's got to fight him back and come in between. Being kind of the same length, Michaela, I think Can say so showing that his hand speed's just a bit quicker, and I think that's giving him brings that jab back. Oh, a lot of different punches in his arsenal, too. He does a really good job. He staggered him a little bit right there. He did with that right hand. He kind of caught him in an awkward spot behind the ear. Maybe. I know Martinez watched that fight as well. Conceição has got to be careful. That slick overhand right. He's from Don't Xavier. It. He's trying to counter with it quick over his jab. I don't know if Xavier's having a hard time getting in or if he's waiting for Conceição to sort of die down a bit. Round five, scheduled for 10. Junior lightweights in there. This is a WBC title eliminator. Ooh, nice hook from Conceição. He's really trying to bring that around. Sneak it in after the jabs. But I think Conceição is making it real hard for him. I think so too. He's definitely keeping him. He's looking good tonight. Conceição is looking good. I'm, I'm liking it. Conceição's been able to be effective and score with his jab. But that little uppercut comes from Martinez. And doesn't, doesn't decide to sit in there and bang. He should be able to keep Xavier off him. Good counter right hand. 
Corner kind of told him it's time to turn it up here as we get to the second half of the fight. Yeah, fairly he's, consistent. You hear Xavier's corner. Ooh, ooh, good combo from Conceso. Making sure he stays up on the... Again, ooh. nice cross with the left hand from Martinez at the end of that combination, or Conceso here and there with, with that shot. So Xavier's corner is saying the right thing. He's saying don't, don't wait on him to throw. And that was a point of emphasis for Conceso. In there on the inside, tight hooks, good defense. I think uh, Robson Consenza has been in control this whole fight. Yeah, there's those few like snapshot moments where he landed a couple good left hands early on, and then maybe you know, if anything, staggered for just a second. Can say foul at least a moment, and maybe say, "Oh, efficient, more effective, has thrown more punches, establishes jab better." Like, let me steal this round just in case the judges aren't seeing it my way. Let me let a fast blurry, fast combination go. And he's doing extra. Good feints. Ooh, little slip. Up for Xavier Martinez from round one to now round seven. It's just showing his dominance, showing his hunger. Nice job right hand from Conceição. Look at him inching him back to the corner. He can't do that right now. Oh, like I don't have an answer for the barrage. You gotta close that space, whatever it takes. Well, Coach Al would say you're safer in fr inside the frying pan. He's staying right at the end of Kinsey's punches. He doesn't need to be there. He needs to stay right there. Oh, nice right uppercut from Kinsey South. Didn't let his hands go. That a shot by Martinez caught the shoulder there of Kinsey South. You almost get the sense that Conceição would like not to leave this one in the judges' hands because I feel like now he's even more. <laughs> I think that has made him, from what I've seen so far, a better fighter. He gets back to the drawing board and works harder, spars more rounds, runs more miles. You're seeing it pay, pay dividends here in this fight thus far. A nice left hand on the inside from Conceição. This is what happened. And then to see them come in here and actually do exactly what they said. Shakur Stevenson are said to have agreed to terms that put their titles on the line in a unification fight at 130 pounds. In the works now, and he really felt like he should have got an immediate rematch with Valdez, but... I'm not sure that Valdez will be the one that Robson oh, is facing. That's a good counter shot there from Martinez. But, you know, you never know. We'll see. And look, perhaps Shakur Stevenson moves up to 140 pounds, vacates the belt, back off the gas at this point, and try to land one of those big shots that he saw. And I don't think he's going to fall off now. It's been working for him all night. Martinez is just waiting too long to let his hands go. He's, he's allowing Conceição to be first. He's been doing it every round. He hasn't made the adjustment. His corner giving him that very same direction. He should be slipping the jab, coming up. There he goes. There he lets his hands go. To fight fire with fire, to, to try to be first. But he just can't seem to get past and say Sal's job to do that. And say Sal lands a, a shot that just stops yeah. any sort of momentum that Martinez was trying to build. And I think can say Sal has put together a very solid performance. All in favor of your winner by unanimous decision, Robson.